Good evening and welcome to Prime of Midlife. It is Saturday, it is the 23rd of December 2023 and this evening we are talking food shortages. I know, but bear with me, there's a reason for it. Um, there's a report out in the Telegraph saying that food shortages in the UK in 2024 are very likely, especially on fruit and veg due to the transportation issues, due to the climate issues, etc, etc. Um, <clears throat> seemingly some food security expert has looked into it. As I say, it's in the Telegraph. I don't remember all of it because I was in the middle of making pancakes when Patrick messaged it to me. But why I'm telling you today is because the veg, the fruit and veg that's reduced in price just now because of Christmas, if you can freeze it, if you can dehydrate it, if you can can it, if you've got a way of preserving some, I think now might be a good time to do that. Um, seemingly, according to the environmental and rural affairs person, you know, <clears throat> there's not a problem. The UK is 60% self-sufficient. Um, but according to the food security expert, according to the National Farmers Union, you know, according to the people who actually work with this stuff day in, day out, mm -hmm, it's definitely looking problematic. So this is definitely a time to be, as I say, especially because there's all these deals on the fruit and veg, there should be a whole lot of it reduced tomorrow, late in the afternoon. Um, if not, there probably will be on Boxing Day if your supermarket's open because a lot of them are staying closed, which is nice. I like that. I think supermarket people have to put up with quite a lot. So, yeah, um, you might have to go on the 27th. But, yeah, my dehydrator's going to be going big guns. Um, and the one thing I would say, <clears throat> and hands up, I have done this. It's really, really easy if you get yourself a dehydrator to go, oh, look, there's that mixed veg mix in the freezing, freezer department. I'll... I'll get that and I'll dehydrate it. I've done that. I've got three jars of it. I very seldom use it. Um, onions, however, I use a lot of onions. A lot, a lot of onions. So I need to dehydrate a whole lot of onions. I mean, I don't think that they're going to be a problem, but you just never know. Mushrooms, I have a lot of dehydrated mushrooms as well because I throw them into just about everything. Um, <clears throat> carrots, I dehydrated a lot of carrots. I don't use them very much. So there's no point in me dehydrating anymore. So just be careful when you're dehydrating, canning, whatever, whatever energy you're going to expend into preserving them, make sure it's something that you're going to use. Because when I first started this, I bought loads of tins of fruit because I was like, you will eat fruit, you will go. Yeah, that didn't happen. I'm I'm not a fruit person, I never have been, and the cans are still there. So I need to do something with them, like make cakes or something, or pastries, or something. Sure we'll think of something. Um, but yeah, that's that's one thing. I actually get what you eat, not what you think you should eat. Take it from someone who knows. What you think you should eat or what you think you should have stored. I mean, I don't think the world's going to come to an end anytime soon, so you shouldn't have anything that you would only eat out of necessity. If you're stocking up, stock up what you're actually going to eat. <clears throat> but yeah, as I say, that was in the Telegraph. Um, I am now going to go and... See, look, look, I made pancakes. They're so not time appropriate. I mean, that took me like half an hour to make six pancakes because I could only put one in the pan at the same time. I need to get myself a big griddle or something because that's just not... It's just a waste of time, but they taste so good. So, yeah, right, I'm going to have tea and pancakes. Catch you later.